Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Balram. I hope y'all are having an awesome day today. Thanks so much for the amazing support on the Balram series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So last time we left off, we found a little bit about this tower and the necromancer. And now, Orlo's name was mentioned in the necromancer's letter. I need to talk to him about this. And there he is. So he's got some splaining to do. No, I'm sure it's not evil intentions. But you never know. It could. He could just go buck wild on us right now. Thankfully, we have our lovely Hans with us to help us out. Okay, when people escaped into the dark wood, Arlo was appointed as the leader. Arlo openly has no faith in the gods of Balram, and this led to troubles with the other elders. Right after the people started building this village, Collar gathered those who fear the gods and left the build another left to build another village. Arlo never forgave Collar for separating the people. Arlo spoils his wife with presents, but nevertheless she looks unhappy. Muddy is their only child. Alright. Um, so there's a few things that we have apparently. Um, yep. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one. And this is the first quest that we had for him. I heard about the torches. Believe me, Aaron has nothing to do with the fires. The torch that we used at home didn't start the fire because it was on the wall. It wasn't burned at all. Uh, the torch is on the only explanation. I had problems with my own torches. How can you say that? I told you that our torch at home has nothing to do with the fire. Something else started it. Calm down, child. Tell me, what do you think? How did the fire start at your house? I don't know, but I will find out. Okay, any news about the packs? Sadly, nothing. If they are in the woods, I feel for their lives. All kinds of monsters live in the dark wood. Fox saw a troll the other day. Let's hope the beasts. Let's hope for the best for their family. Did they leave the woods? Did they go back to the world ruled by bandits? Why would they leave this safe village? Would they be so cruel as to risk their a worse life for their child? If they left the village and go back to their old lives, then that is their decision. We don't know anything for certain, child. I doubt they would have left without any warning. Let's hope they find out. Okay. Do you know anything about the stone tablets? What are you talking about? I have found a stone tablet at the Pax house. What? What kind of stone tablet? Is there something written on it? There is something carved into the stone. We're trying to translate it. As soon as you have any news, come to me, boy. For the sake of the Pack family, we'll do Orlo. And we have gone through all that. So, here we go. I know that you talked to the necromancers, Arlo. What are you talking about? I find the letter at the top of the old tower. Necromancers were talking about you in it. What nonsense are you blabbering about? How did you get into the tower? Leonard gave me the key. I know that you did something, Arlo, and I will find out what it was. Stop. Whatever you're doing, it has to stop. Tell me, Arlo, what happened when the people entered the woods? Leave me, you insolent kid. I'm not going to listen to this nonsense anymore. Fine. Let's take the harder path, Arlo. I will be back. All right. So, apparently, I have... I got to the bottom of that. Wilson is Arlo's right hand. He might know s why Arlo's name was mentioned in the letter. All right. So, we're going to have to talk to Wilson. And who is Wilson exactly? That's Myron. I don't know who Wilson is, I don't think. Anything in here? I didn't check that. Oh, there's iron bars in here and iron ore. Let's wait until nobody's around. This is probably Wilson. Yep. All right. Wilson is Arlo's henchman. He acts like a bodyguard when the two leaders of the village meet, Grandpa says Wilson. And Arlo fought in many battles together before they escaped into the woods. He is a fearless soldier. He teached me how to fight. He taught. Okay. I know that Arlo's been talking to the necromancers. Keep your voice down, boy. I knew one day someone would find that out. I know that you are a loyal soldier, Wilson. But lives are at stake. We might be able to help the packs if we act now. Tell me everything you know. When we fled to the woods 20 years ago, Kyler and Arlo's people started to build a large village together. Something happened between them, and one day Kyler announced that his people would leave the village and build a second village on the other side of the woods. Arlo never talked about it. What could have happened? I already told you more than I should have. This is all I know. If you listen to me, you should go to visit Kyler in the other village. You might find some answers to your questions there. Thank you, Wilson. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, so... I'm seeking new abilities. What can you cook? I mean, uh, teach me. Come here. What is that? Pulls the target towards you. Strong strike. Shatter armor. Man, this is some crazy skills. Swordplay would be have to be level 2 for that. Uh, well, I'm not finished talking to you. Can you teach me? I need a few supplies. Alright, by the way, check this out. Mist hide armor gives me slightly decreased visibility, which is cool. Like, my visibility is slightly decreased. 
I would think that people can hardly see me. I think I guess that's what that means. All right. I wish we could get stronger here. Veteran boots, plate helmet. Man, he he sells some pretty good stuff here. All right. Uh, Muddy is still following me around apparently. Muddy, why don't you go home, man? Yeah. Why don't you go home so I could check out this box, dude? I guess you're never gonna do that, huh? I guess you're never gonna do it. Okay, so. Now, Wilson thinks Kyler might know that Arlo's name was mentioned in the necromancer's letter. He lives in the other village. Uh, I don't know of any other villages. I suppose it's right here? That's the only thing I could think of. That's a long way, y'all. Long way. I mean, I'm not scared. Let's see. All right. Dang it. I took it. I took it. Muddy, I hope you didn't see me. Maybe it was okay to take. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess what we have to do, you guys, is go all the way back. I didn't check this stuff either. Uh, how to make splint? That's cool. A new recipe, I guess. Alright. So, let's see. What's the easiest way there? We are... Where? We are here. No. We are here? Yeah, we are here. So, we're gonna have to go... Man, this is gonna be pretty tough. Alright, we're gonna stop at some of these points along the way, too. I guess that's the other village. That's gonna be the only way to find out uh, what happened, you know? So I guess we're going to go on our merry way. This might not be the most exciting of footage, you guys. But I'm sure that we're going to get into a little bit of trouble over here. I'm sure we will. There's some deer. I might grab a few supplies along the way. Right now, I really don't need anything except to gain some strength here. Um, let's stop by Edmund's house. Can you teach me anything, Edmund? No. Uh, I would like to learn need of supply. They get honey jars. Um, looks like they have recipes, but nothing that great. I would like to get some strength before I go. What is the, um, let's see. I have two learning points. I don't think that's enough. I think I'm going to have to gain one more level to get some more learning points. Because I had to learn lock picking last time, which I think has proven to be valuable. Can Grandpa tell me about that? Uh, oh wait, he has some stuff to say. Well, my boy, I knew the time would come when I had to tell you about the woods. Evil wizards made use of this place. The woods hid them from the world so they could do whatever their hearts desired. They did countless horrible things here. I don't know the exact details, but I know that they sacrificed innocents during their dark rituals. They obey Nasrus, the god that might be the next mad god. Why did they chose this place? This place was touched by the god centuries ago. Their energy flows through the woods even today. Dark wizards can use the energy in their rituals. Barnabas even said that the plants grow faster here. Touched by the gods? I don't know for sure, but the ancient legends say that there are many secrets in these woods. There had to be good reasons for the gods to come down here and interfere with the mortals. Why is that no one came after us? King Tristan was the only one brave enough to say enough is enough. He gathered his red army and slaughtered everyone here. Legends say that they killed everyone in the woods, even the children, because they could not be sure of who was evil and who wasn't. People stay far away from this place because they think the evil deeds might happen again one day. They even say that the goods, the woods smelled of blood for a long time after the massacre. I think I've heard enough. Now I understand this place gives us protection because the outside world fears the woods. You're right, my boy. If this we chose this place and nothing bad has happened for almost 20 years now, something big is going to happen. I could feel it. All right, now I'm starting to see what's up with this place. So it's pretty much just evil. <laughs> pretty much just evil. Um, I think I think I did need some strength points to go up another level. I mean, some uh, <laughs> another level before I go up in any strength points. So I guess I'm gonna wait for that. We do need to oops a loose cloth belt. I don't think that's that great though. Uh, no. Modifies armor by one. Something is moving around in my backpack. Get out of my backpack! Worm! Sucker. 
I hate when they eat all my stuff. Okay, I know it's been auto-saving, but let's save anyway. Alright, and we are going to head toward the next place. I'm going to grab life plants when I see them too. We haven't really started to get into battles that are very, very hard. Also, somebody had said that I could uh, equip multiple uh, things in the quiver. Ah, I can. I didn't even know that. Son of a gun. Uh, yeah, not bad. How much can I put in a quiver here? 195 arrows? Oh, we gonna do, we doing good now. Thanks for all the tips, you guys. Y'all are amazing. Y'all know that? Really, really amazing. Okay. I don't need to get every life plant I see, but if it's just in the way, I'm gonna get it. Alright. Uh, man, I still have quite a bit further to go. I don't know if I should go south here or just east first. I'm tempted to see what that is, because I've already been around here. Yeah, let's just go east first. I wish I knew if this was east, or if this was east, or if this was east. The map is not crooked, but the pathways that you walk are, so I imagine that this is east. Let's see. I'm, I'm to the top left of that tree on the map. So I'm just going to aim right here and see what happens. And it looks like I am going up and to the right. So let's see where I am now. I'm right near Fox's, which we might as well pass by Fox's place and see if we could sell off any of this stuff that we have. Also, somebody said that I could get more money if I repair stuff and sell it. But I don't really know how to repair that much. So let's see here. So, my weapons, let's just see something here. My weapons, let's take for instance this last rusty sword. Durability is 45 out of 90. If I were to sell this to him, I can sell it for 3, t uh, well no, not 310. 80 to 310 would be, I wish they wouldn't make me do math like this. Hold on, you know what? Let me buy something from him. Okay, after trade, I would not have any. So, okay, I'm at zero gold right now. So, this thing right here, if I would sell it, I would get 80. All right. Now, let's talk to him. Can you repair any of my items? It would take... This rusty sword, I guess, is the last one. It would cost me 90 to repair the selected item. I hope I don't know if that's the right one though. Rusty sword. It would cost me 69 to repair that one. Alright, I don't know which one is which. Maybe we should stick to something else. Let's see. What do I have only one of that I can get away with? Uh the short sword. I can I, I, I can repair it for 68. And I can sell it for. Where's the short sword? Claymore, fine sword, short sword. Okay, so I could sell it for 73. So, let's just sell one of these swords. Actually, how much can I sell the fang for? Good lord. Uh, let's just sell this one. <gasps> I didn't mean to... Ah, uh, well, I can't experiment with that. That was stupid. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. The fang is 70 out of 70, right? Let's let's get rid of all of these things except one of the rusty swords. This is the rusty sword right here. I think that's the only one that I have left. All right. So, how much gold do I have right now? I wish it would just tell me easy. Thala, 233. Okay. And let's go out here. Repair my items. Rusty sword would cost me 69. 
Okay. Sell. And if I were to sell it, I would get 80. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out earlier. Sell is 80. All right. So 69 plus 80 is 149. All right. All right. 149. So I'm going to go ahead and repair this. Rusty sword. Repair. And if I could sell it for more than 149, it's worth repairing everything. What? Oh no, that's the fine sword. I was about to say, what the heck? I can sell it for 161 now. Oh no, sell for 568. Oh no, 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 no. Um, 161. So yeah, you can if you repair and then you sell. It's actually you actually get more. That's interesting. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. So he's got 2103 money. So let's do this. Uh, the claymore is a good weapon. I don't want to sell it right now. The fine sword, let's see, 145 to 186. Actually, we would be using the fine sword over the claymore. All right. So the claymore, let's sell that. And what else can we do here? Quarterstaff. I think we could sell this too because we're never really going to use this. For intelligence boosts? I don't think so. Alright, let's also look at armor. He'll buy armor. Cloth loose belt, we already know he we don't need. Worn shoes, I don't think that's better than what we already have. Okay, iron breastplate. Base strength 3. This is worn chain vest. We know that this is not as good. Modifies armor by 10. Actually, that's is that what we had on earlier? It's going to be hard to tell if it's better than this, even though this increases our dexterity, though. So I'm not too sure. I don't know what to sell here. Paladin's helmet requires a lot of strength. Worn leggings. I suppose we could sell that. Let's not sell these things yet. Yeah, we'll sell these two. Okay. After trade. Okay. What about, this requires 5 base strength. It's going to be a while before we could use that. We might not ever be able to use some of these items. We're basically, we're a build that has to do with dex more, more than anything. Vitality by 1, leather shoes. Oh, he's full. He can't get anything else. Alright, so what can we buy from him? We could get more taming traps. But I don't think we need that. We could get more arrows. The bear slayer might be pretty good. But I actually think we're okay. We got a lot of money here. Let's see. Can you teach us anything, by the way, before we go? Survival. Yeah, but that costs two. I don't want to do that. Um, hand a little blade. Five. Man, I need some more levels. Big time. All right. I think we. I think we did enough for that like to get money and stuff like that we have a lot of money already let's go ahead and save so we don't lose all of that progress and figuring out and stuff all right and fox is absolutely chock full so we can't sell anything more from him we could buy some more arrows some fire arrows to sell from him uh but other than that it's probably pretty good i am a little low on water too let's go ahead and drink up why it's in the weapons i'll never know Okay, and we'll eat one of our um, our tasty, delicious po' boys here. Oh yeah, full belly, baby. That's that's really really good. I'm glad I did that. All right, well, we might we might as well get nuts with the spiders here, you guys. I'm not I'm not even gonna waste um, that many uh, that many arrows on these guys. There's a lot of spiders here. I'm paralyzed now. Hans, I need your help, buddy. Wow. Thankfully, I saved. 
All right. Well, paralysis is a mother. That's all I could say. <laughs> That's all I could say. Next time, I will shoot them with some arrows. Um, we do need to eat another po' boy here. And I'll grab some water. There we go. That's the correct order that we should do it in anyway, since it takes a little bit of thirst away from us when we eat. Uh, po' boy. All right. Let's do this. Did that lightning just strike me? All right. We'll hit him. We'll hit him with a few arrows. Kind of soften him up. Okay. It disappeared. It'll be back though. Just hitting space here to skip some turns. There we go. Am I paralyzed? Yeah, I am. All right, it's dead. Okay. Now, how much HP we got? We good, Hans? We good? Good. That makes a big difference, man. Arrows make a huge difference. I'm just gonna have to mine every once in a while to make sure that I have a uh, have enough stuff. Yeah, I shot that egg. You ain't laying no eggs on us today. I don't want to use all my arrows, but softening them up like that is pretty good. All right, good, good, good. Man, I hope the lightning doesn't strike me. Anything in here? Oh, there's a golem right there. Okay, we have the we have the golem slayer too. I never defeated one of these golems before. So let's put it on us. Let's see. Golem slayer. All right, that took our bow away, but that's all right. Um actually, Hans, you stay here, buddy. Too far away. Oh, he stunned us. That ain't good. That's not good. Stop stunning. All right, I hit. We got 241. We need to drink the fuel pot. Hans, you can't help, buddy. Wow. 25. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, we're not ready for golems yet either. We are not ready for golems yet either. All right. How about this? How about we take our, our our food that we were supposed to? We drink our water like we were supposed to. Okay. Now we we kill the spiders and then we save. Actually, I'm just gonna save twice because this is ridiculous. Okay. I know I get a little bit too antsy. I try things before, but I try things that I shouldn't try before saving and I do anyway oh, now we're gonna have both the spiders anyway why do I keep missing like that all right the paralysis is real get him haunted oh that other spider came out Hans got one. We'll get him, Hans. You got him, baby. Hit him again. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay. Let's get both of these. All right. Now, guess what we're going to do? You guessed it. Ooh, look the lightning. <laughs> Save. Yes. All right. We should not have to do that again, you guys. Should not have to. I am very, very... I'm very, very sorry about repeating that too many times anyway, but I like to keep stuff like that in because it just shows that I'm mortal after all. <laughs> I know I make a lot of mistakes anyway, but y'all know what I mean. All right, let's see here. We are right here. Okay, and that's headed to that other spot. I'm curious to see what that's all about. Uh oh, we're heading into the fog. Does this mean death? Ooh. I'm about to go to this other area, you guys. Never have been to this area. We'll never have explored this area. 
Alright. I'm on the other side. We broke on through to the other side. Oh, there's another village. Oh, something's moving in my backpack. Where? Let's get out of here, hungry bug. Okay, let's save, huh? I know we just did a second ago, but... Alright, maybe these people are evil. Hello? Fleta? Fleta is barely able to stand on her feet. Her eyes are yellow from a disease. The way she looks tells me she needs help. Can I help you look awfully sick? Your eyes are deep yellow. She might have jaundice. Dear child, don't worry. A horrible disease is eating me away from the inside. Ooh, gosh. Maybe it's Ebola. I think I have only a few days left. I'm dying. There has to be something I can do. I'll ask my alchemy teacher, Brown. He might know a potion that can save you. I'll be back. Okay. Well, I'd have to ask the alchemy guy. I might do that later when I have to return to the village for multiple things. I'm not going to do that now. That sounds like a side quest to me. Oh, by the way. Where's Hans? Come on, Hans. I don't know what you're doing back there, buddy. Okay, let's go south here. Poor Fleta. She's dying. And I know I got she's got to be back in days, but y'all know that it, it's not just... She's not going to die because time passes. It's a side quest. I know what to do around these things. It's getting very, very dark here, too. Let's try to get to this spot before we go. Electrically charged. Is that because lightning struck me? Extreme darkness raining. Full belly. Oh, there's some deer right here. A lot. Not something that I'm going to concern myself with right now, though. We can go deer hunting anytime. Oh, wow. Look at us. We're like way, way too far north. It is extremely dark out here, too. King Mushroom. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's go south here. Is that a wisp? Yeah. A will-o'-wisp. Okay. Where are we now? Still a little bit further down. Oh, I'm gonna hit these dirt piles when I can. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a larva. What? This is nasty. Ooh, and I'm poisoned. Bug fat. Alright, how long am I poisoned for? Larva spit and electrically charged. Modifies frost damage by five. That's crazy. Okay, so this is gonna do some significant damage to us. We might want to... Let's see where I'm at here. We gotta go this way. Yeah, going through the woods might not be the best idea in this condition, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. What is that? Oh, a sick troll that we can fight. And it has a treasure chest, too. Okay. We just took a healing potion. How many turns we have left of this trash? Earthquake? Modifies dodge chance of 5%. Oh, that's probably because the troll was around here? I don't know how that works exactly. Well, guys, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to use... Let's use a speed potion, huh? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this thing is level 5. I didn't even... Oh, he's throwing stuff at me again, too. Uh oh, we're, we're in trouble, you guys. We're in big, big, big trouble. <laughs> we only took him down like 700 points. Okay, what? Trolls Roar. Modifies dexterity by 20. Damage is increased by 23. His attributes are greatly increased. Modifies armor by 65. Good lord. Okay. Check that out, though. <laughs> okay. I need to heal. Maybe we can kill him. I want the XP from it. Okay. Um, Hans... Can we res you, buddy? No, apparently not yet, huh? 
I'm still stunned. I'm gonna drink another heal potion. Oh, this speed potion though. Good lord, he hits hard. And I'm stunned like this. Can I auto walk? I'm not trying to auto walk. Alright, I got the heck away from him. He has a thousand sixty three HP left. Boy, this speed potion, though, huh? Ah, oh, you miss, sucker. Uh oh. Critical miss. I can't attack for five rounds. No big deal. 841. We gonna get this dude. <sighs> Maybe not. I'm stunned. Get away. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Don't throw another one. I drank two heal potions. He has 624 left. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit him with these. I'm stunned again. Oh, stop stunning me! Oh, we almost had him though. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, I don't think we were meant to fight him anyway. <laughs> you guys, a little bit too high level for us, but at any rate, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did. Don't forget to give me some tap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.